I wouldn't actually say we're distant uh, from the battleground. Um, we're on the front lines in a sense, um, because of course we we have a huge diaspora here. Uh, we now have uh, lots of Ukrainian refugees, so we're sort of living this every every single day. Um, and we have to give full credit to President Zelensky uh, for his ability to to, uh, to reach out to so many people, uh, to tailor his messages to particular audiences. And uh, in the case of Canada, it's it's worked uh, tremendously well, and of course the rest of the world. So what we did see in the last few months, as I said earlier on, is the initiative passing to Ukraine. And when that happens, when that tipping point happens, people begin to realize that, hey, you know, this isn't actually hopeless. In those early days, we thought mm, it was hopeless. Poor old Ukraine, big Russia, be over pretty quickly. Not in the first three days, but give it a month, give it two months. Oh, give it three months. And then all of a sudden you get to a bit of a tipping point and you start to say, wait a minute, they may not actually win the war, but they may win the war, something like that. And, and we can help them do that. So the initiative passes to not only the Ukrainian people in Ukraine, but every people everywhere that are supporting them. So I think that's that's really key. And that's what we're seeing. And I don't expect it, it to stop because I quite frankly think the Russians are out of ideas.